The highlights from Friday, greatstockpicks.com, our live trading chat room. Um, WLT, a stock that I called Friday, I'll show you how and why. Um, first of all, you had this nice gap down and then it just ripped higher, okay? Whenever you see that, and there's no way to predict that on the gap down, but when you see that, um, you know you've got a pretty strong stock and maybe even some shorts caught on the gap down that uh, thought it was going to go lower. Um, beautiful strength here. Um, I cer certainly can't chase this, so I waited. I'm looking for a pullback, and I got a real clean pullback here. And uh, I like the fact that it broke this five-minute candle's high and then went back down, took out that five-minute candle's low, but you had this nice tail. And I basically called it long over this area once the nonsense was done. Um, 30, let me get the exact entry. I call it 36.95 if it got there. Worst case stop, 36.70. So I'm looking for a long right above this area. Worst case stop uh, was pretty tight, 36.70. Um, 25 cents risk. Anyway, here's what happened. There's the trigger. I mean, just a beautiful pop and through the high of the day, a little pullback and kept climbing. It went up uh, to 37.98. And you know what? From our entry to the time it got there was only about 30 minutes. Uh, I love making money quick like that. Dollar three in our favor, 25 cents risk. And you can see from once it triggered, they, there was no danger. Didn't even look over its shoulder. Uh, at the stop, so it was an easy one. Um, U.S. Steel, this was another one. Uh, I'll tell you what, I started talking about this one in chat, um, I think when it looked like this. I, I said U.S. Steel really strong, um, and I didn't find a proper entry uh, because by the time I noticed it, it was already up here, okay? Um, I'd had this on watch earlier in the week for a break of this uh, long wedge pattern, and I just, um, you know, when there's so much going on, you have to have uh, the right stock on your radar at the right time and I didn't catch US Steel. Um, a few of our members when I mentioned how strong it was grabbed it down here um, and I just felt like hey this thing I just kept saying hey X is breaking out because I saw that wedge pattern, saw the daily but um, just kept climbing like this. Uh, I found a, an entry you know for a trade right about here um, I called X I'm trying to find the price 2366 um, right about here with a stop uh, 12 cents below and a nice reversal and it got back up to 24 a little over 24 so that's not much of a trade um, you know when you look at this big rally now again we did have members jump in around here when I mentioned uh, X was strong and they already knew we had uh, X on watch early in the week for a possible breakout um, but as far as a clean low risk entry for the room by the time uh, this had gotten away from me that's what I got out of it uh, um, you know, it's so nothing really to brag about, but this one deserves to be on everybody's radar now, uh, you know, coming up. You had a nice breakout on Friday. Um, probably be several days of decent trades in uh, in X. Another one, uh, First Solar. Um, you know, this thing's extended now, so I, I go to it a lot less than I used to, um, but it was impressive volume right off the bat, so I called it long right over this first pullback. I like these strong ones that pull back to the to the eight period moving average. Um, called it right there uh, with a worst case stop right down, you know, right below this area. So it only gave us, um, I don't know, 30 to 40 cents, something like that, but still a decent little trade. Um, and that was it for the day. No, it wasn't. Uh, oh, my early, my early blunder was CLF, another coal name. You'll notice, you'll notice the early volume. Um, Real big volume compared to recent, right? And uh, this one, I'll show you what I did wrong. I switched to twos and tried to, you know, because I knew I wanted in this thing. I knew this thing could rip. I wanted to get people in it if it was going to rip. Um, and so I switched to twos, two-minute candles, and said, you know, whoops, let me get that off there. I said, you know what, you've got a flag here on twos, but keep in mind, this thing ripped out of the gate and uh, really needed to uh, have a little bit of profit taking and a pullback. And I knew that. And, and can I use the excuse that I was dead tired? I, I, that's what I used in chat. I blamed it on how tired I was. I'd only had like an hour and a half of sleep, uh, which, by the way, you probably should never trade on an hour and a half of sleep. But, um, you know, I kind of kind of created this possibility in my mind, even though, you know, the trader in me says, hey, this was due for a pullback first. OK, um, uh, but I, I zoomed in and said, we got a two minute flag. If this breaks this flag just up here. I called it at uh, 33.29 with a 33.09 stop. It's only 20 cents risk, but look what happens. There's the trigger. We've got volume, and I'm thinking, hey, I nailed one, and then boom, I stopped out just like that. Now, what did I do wrong? Um, let's go to five-minute candles, and there's a better, a better explanation of what I did wrong. Right there. Um, look how far away. Look at the distance between 
my trigger was right up about here. Look, look at the distance between this and the A period moving average. Whenever you have that much separation, you're jumping in too early. Now the professional trader says, I am going to, even though I want in this, and even though I think it's gonna rip, I gotta wait for a first, the first profit taking, the first clean pullback, and look at the pullback right to that 5.8 again, the five minute candle, A period moving average. That's the professional entry. And here, I'll show you, I'll show you the rookie entry right here. There is the rookie entry, and that's exactly what I called um, first thing Friday morning. So a little bit embarrassing, but uh, the 20 cent a share I lost on it was certainly made up on WLT and the X trade. Um, but uh, the 20 cents I lost on it is also a nice, healthy reminder to me um, hey, be a professional trader each and every day of your life, okay? Rules shouldn't change because all of a sudden you get excited over the industry. The coals, you know, the coals popping, and you, you create a little two minute flag in your mind. And it was a two minute flag, but uh, again, this is a great lesson. Switch to fives, and you never really want to go long when there's this kind of separation from the eight period moving average and your entry, all right? Uh, be patient. Uh, pullbacks do come. And I could say the same thing about X. Had I seen X at this point, right? Um, you know you can't, you look at the separation, but look at that. You get that one pullback, touches the 5.8 and it's off to the races. So always, always be a professional trader. Don't ever deviate from that in your mind. Um, you know, wait for the entries. You know what? If CLF or X uh, just went up $3 from those perspective points and never pulled back, guess what? Those are just missed trades. Uh, but it, you still didn't chase and you should be proud of that. So always wait for that pullback on a strong stock before entering. Um, and that's all I have. Have a great uh, rest of your weekend and we'll see you guys on Monday.